We are gonna be well. Hey, Amanda with Magnolia Mountain Media. This is an episode of Wellness Awareness. The Wellness Awareness aims to help Mississippians find resources, professionals, organizations, ideas to establish a true state of wellness. Did you know a lot of women suffer from pelvic pain? And today I'm sitting with. Hey y'all, I'm Kayla Mowdy, Doctor of Physical Therapy, and I'm so excited to be on Wellness Awareness to talk about pelvic pain, the uh, silent, uh, very dis uh, disabling condition that a lot of women suffer from and don't always have help with. I had no idea that this was a situation, <laughs> and, and now I'm learning about it, and I'm learning about the, the need that women have and what an awesome job you're doing providing help for that. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about pelvic pain today and hopefully help y'all help yourselves. That's important. Um, we're, we are learning more in the medical community about these conditions. Um, some of the medical diagnoses that are given to them is PCOS, endometriosis, um, just painful periods that they tend to just throw birth control at and not try to get to the root of as much um vulvodynia painful intercourse um and a painful intercourse can be any stretch of it just hurts a little bit when it goes in to it doesn't go in at all um and then the, that happens um sometimes people as a primary condition but sometimes after childbirth is another time that a woman is susceptible to um, experience these things and not have a good resource to help themselves so as a pelvic floor physical therapist, um, I've been doing this for six years and I have seen so many women um, and helped change their lives after years and years of suffering. I love that. And I love that you're able to do that. So, so the people know who we're talking to, tell us your credentials. Um, <laughs> Doctor of physical therapy uh, is my degree. I am licensed in Alabama and Mississippi. I am board certified in orthopedics. It's called orthopedic clinical specialist. Uh, and then I am a pelvic rehab practitioner. That's not technically a certification, but it's a lot of courses and just a lot of hands-on experience with patients. Um, I have taught adjunct uh, as an adjunct professor at University of South Alabama and also as a guest lecturer at a couple of our PTA schools, um, really just trying to bring awareness to pelvic conditions and the role that physical therapy can play. Um, and how interconnected it is with back pain and hip pain. Almost all my people with pelvic pain also have back pain and hip pain. And they actually go to separate doctors for each thing. And I look at it all. It's all connected. It's all the same. Um, another credential that I have recently obtained is lactation counseling certification. So I can help mamas feed their babies. I didn't and know that. Mississippi more healthy. <laughs> I had a lactation consultant. It's when important. I it's not, yes. it, it's not natural. It's not easy, um, but it, it, if you get it flowing right, it is so helpful to have that support. Well, for me, I didn't have, it, it, you know, everyone's different. Some people don't nurse, so I didn't have someone to learn from. Exactly. And it wasn't some change in the culture. We're trying we to change we the shame culture. it, so we don't have people to learn from, and we need lactation. Awesome. I had no idea you had that certification. <laughs> from, you were located in Foley, Alabama, and Meridian, Mississippi. Yes. I want people to know that. So I they know where to started find my you. clinic in 2020 in Foley. We are an exclusively pelvic health clinic, and I have four therapists there that I've trained to take care of patients with all kinds of pelvic conditions. It actually spans a lot more than pelvic pain, but pelvic pain is kind of my niche and something that I really can change people's lives with. Um, and then Meridian, Mississippi, as of January 2024. Uh, we are located in the North Hills area, and um, we we will take care of you if you just call Shelly. So what are some of the most common conditions that you see? Um, so pain, painful intercourse, pain during um, pregnancy, postpartum pain, um, just back pain, hip pain, hip impingement that's like this groin pain. I don't know where it's coming from, what's going on. There's usually muscle imbalance. Something's working too hard. Something's not working hard enough. Um, and just i mean if you hurt come on let's take a look at it and let's look mm -hmm. at it from a standpoint of what muscles do you have that aren't helping and which ones are working too hard i can do trigger point dry needling to help kind of reset muscles uh you, you just you never <laughs> cease to amaze me and you know i'm going to violate my own hippo i'm a patient okay <laughs> i didn't do it i didn't I'm, do a, it. I'm a new patient everybody needs a little physical therapy all. everyone come on and get and you. for me i'm coming uh so my hips move right. I have multiple sclerosis that prevents me from walking perfectly. 
So you don't just see pelvic pain. You see all sorts of things. Yes. I, I just want people to know you Future you're Family Center Physical Therapy and Wellness. And I hope to, you know, expand the wellness a, a lot in the future as well. Right now we're just in physical therapy. We do take insurance, um, Blue Cross, Medicare, TRICARE, or cash pay. Um, we are uh, available for those. We do bill those insurances and can help those people in a, in a medical standpoint as well. But wellness is my, my, my passion eventually. Awesome. I love it. Do you feel that women are open to talk about pelvic pain and sexual intercourse pain? Absolutely not. So I get to ask those questions and, um, you know, maybe they complained to their doctor about it at some point and they were dismissed. And so now they feel like something's wrong with them. A lot of women get, uh, you know, they get dismissed. Oh, have a glass of wine. You'll be fine. Like, um, so when a, a medical professional, when they go to try to get help and they're dismissive, then they think something's wrong with them. And it's often like, uh, put off as like a psychological problem and there are psychological ties to it, yeah. but it's no woman should be made to feel like they're crazy. And the, our medical system does that often. Or that we're making up the pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for what you do for supporting women, for being an advocate for wellness. Mississippi has a lot of strides to make in the wellness community and you're a member and of I'm that community yes thank you for your support y'all check out future family you have a facebook page a website yep we have all the things we're pretty accessible um phone number 601-453-3249 come check them out get healthy mississippi thank you kayla thank you.